Hello and welcome. My name is Sanskut Broad. I'm working for CRC and as you know, we are conducting a very comprehensive uh, data initiative and um, this provides a very broad data set which we analyze. Now it's actually possible for all of you to do a similar analysis if you have SPSS on your computer. Here we have a classical uh, representation where we look at various ratings but you may you may wonder how do I get that stuff out and what I'm here to tell you is that within three or four minutes if you just watch this clip that I'm showing you now you'll be able to do these basic things on SPSS yourself let's move across to SPSS so that you see how we get the raw data and then more instructional videos later for some specific things here I'm opening up the main SPSS data editor we have the variable view. This tells us about each variable. Each variable here has one line or one row as it's called. And if people have done a good job, then these labels here will tell you precisely what was asked. Yeah, here, does a household own a satellite dish? Does a household own a fridge? Or further down, the really deep political questions um, that um, along the lines, how do they rate health, what was their last visit to the doctor, and so on and so forth. Now over here we have the data view, and here each line represents one respondent. Yeah? And if you go across, all the variables that we looked at before now are here on top. Now how do you make sense of that, and how do you get data out? Well, it turns out to be really, really simple. And what you do is you go up here onto um, on to analyze and then you look for descriptive statistics and if you just want the raw number of the responses then you go to this thing that statisticians call frequencies and then you have all those questions being offered here on the left at first it's a little inconvenient I'll show you a better trick later for how to get at these th things all those sort of questions we asked yeah and um, Let's go briefly back. So just reset it because there's some questions in there that some that we didn't want to look at. And take here, say, what do you want to take? What year was the household's personal computer purchased? And let's look at something else. Does household have pipeline tap water yeah let's take this these two Is that okay and then we get the output that already is a sheet like this frequencies yeah here the years when it was purchased personal computer and here pipeline tap water it turns out the 26 percent don't have pipeline tap water in their house household yeah and this year there are a couple of non-valid that's non-response etc we don't need to worry about that right now but here you have the data you can export that into excel and then you can create really really cool graphs okay let me just go back quickly here the overview the data editor the variable view if you want to find out what was asked the data view you don't really even need that right now then you go to analyze descriptive statistics, frequencies, and then you enter what exactly you want to find out. Now there are much better ways of even doing that. This is just a very simple way of doing it that I can show you. And if you just spend 20 minutes watching these podcasts, then you'll actually know how to get the main things out of Excel. You'll know 80% of what you need. So I hope you found that useful. Thanks very much for watching it and hope you look at the next installment. Now I just need to find a way of turning this cool program off. Yes.